right, yeah, huh, what, yeah, huh, right. And today, working on another Jeep. And I gotta take the wheels off, because the brakes are bad. I really need to do, like, an instructional how to fix crap channel on YouTube, I think. Yeah. Under the car cam! Yeah, so I'm taking the brakes apart right now. To be honest, it's not the best design. Let me, come out here, let me show you. Come, come out here, guys. Get out from under the car. This is your rotor, and this is your caliper, and your pads are inside of there, and they squeeze, squeeze on this part. Um, well, on most Japanese cars, this section right here is not there. So, you pull out a little clip, and you pull your pads out through the top. But on this here, American design car, you gotta take this whole part out. It's not very convenient. Time to tear it apart. 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 And to be honest, I'm more familiar with Japanese... Uh, cars. But they're all basically the same. Come here, you. Come apart! Oh. Thank you for obeying me. Alright, guys. Check this out. This is no bueno. That is really bad. See where it ground into the metal? Oh, crap. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. Look at that. That's pretty bad. Dang, son! Wheel number two! Side number two. Ow. Easy as pie. Y'all. Oh, I just really hurt my hand. Okay, boys and girls. Um, I got both these things off of here. This is the uh, this is the driver's side, and you can see it's got this this gray line right here which is where the uh, the pad wore through when it was rubbing on it. So that's going to have to be machined. But let me show you this one. See these lines? Those lines are about a sixteenth of an inch deep. And the pad has like, see how it stays on it? It's wore a track. That's not good. So this whole rotor is going to have to be replaced. It's pretty much trash. Uh, but this one's still usable. Oh well. I'm gonna have to let uh, Matt know that the bill just went up a little bit. Alrighty. 